For this project, you will need a piece of paper, which you can tape down with masking tape if you want. We are also using oil pastels. I'm going to use the ones especially made for children that are safe and non-toxic. The Junior Artist from Crepas, made by Sakura. You'll need a pen or marker or both. I'm actually going to use the Pigma Sensei pens, also made by Sakura, actually. Now begin drawing and sketching out your tree. Now, you can try to make it look just like the one I'm drawing, but I encourage you to make it your own and give it your own flair. When you're drawing trees, you want to remember that each branch and each twig will start thicker at the bottom and then get thinner and taper off. Now I'm just adding some embellishments in lines in the trunk and branches. Now I am going to draw a line around the inside of the masking tape to create a border and then I'm going to find each sharp corner that I've drawn inside my tree and I'm going to soften it by rounding the edges and I'm going to div give it depth by adding a little thickness to some of my lines. Now I'm thickening the lines on the right side of my branches and twigs. Now I am laying down some darker blue oil pastel around the shapes of my sky and I'm going to fill in the middle with a lighter blue and I'm blending that together just with my finger. Now I'm going to lay down different colors in each empty space between the branches. And what I'm doing is I'm choosing a primary color, red, yellow, or blue, and I am putting it in the space. And then I'm choosing secondary colors that I know is made up of that primary color. Like I know red is in purple, and I know red is in orange, and I'm going to use that as the other color I blend it with. I know that yellow is in green and yellow is in orange. I know that blue is in purple and blue is in green. So that's how I'm choosing my color combinations here. This is a great way to teach primary and secondary colors and to learn how they blend together and how they'll look. It's a great way to send a kid on a pathway to painting and just giving them some extra tools in their belt for that. Now you get to finish it off and sign your name. Thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this tutorial so we know to keep making ones like it. Don't forget to share your projects with us on Facebook. And I hope you have a happy day.